Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm finally making a video that I've been requested to make for quite some time because I've said in a number of videos that I've had a really unpleasant experience with Chanel but I avoided making this video because I didn't want to disparage the brand I didn't want to come across as negative but you guys have asked what happened and it's been resolved but I wanted to make a concise video and tell you what happened. So if you watch my video about the five bags that I contemplated selling, but I'm so glad that I didn't, you will know that I planned on selling my maxi because it had some damage. I realized that the damage was caused by improper storage. I had it stuffed and packed up ready to sell for a few months. So this video will be about those few months that I was searching for the replacement for the maxi. I planned on getting a jumbo because there was just no way I was paying the current price for another maxi. This happened quite some time ago in May 2020 right before the gigantic Chanel price increase. So my rationale was that I was able to sell my maxi for pretty close to what I had paid for it originally. I had rewards points for more than $1,200 so those two things combined meant that I would only pay about $2,000 thousand dollars or so for a brand new jumbo from the store and again this is pre price increase so even though I didn't want to sell my maxi it's one of my favorite and most used bags but I factored in that I would at some point have to get the damage repaired and so I figured I would just bite the bullet and buy the jumbo so I contacted my sales associate who was able to do a phone order for me during the lockdown it took for ever for me to get the bag but I finally got it after about three weeks or so and while I'm telling you all this I'll show you footage of me unboxing the bag and the bag looked okay I will say I was really underwhelmed by the look of it and at the time I just chalked that up to the fact that I'd seen a million black jumbos with silver hardware so it wasn't going to be that exciting for me but in retrospect I realized that the bag just was very dull and unexciting it was in that very stiff hard almost plasticky looking caviar which is not my favorite especially because my maxi has such beautiful supple caviar I've seen enough recent unboxings so I wasn't surprised by that however the chain on the bag was twisted to the point where I could not get it untwisted. I tried, I tried again. The chain was just poorly constructed. I messaged my essay. He told me to bring it in when the store opened. That's exactly what I did. I figured that I was just trying to undo the chains improperly and he would probably be able to untwist it for me. So when New York finally came out of lockdown, I brought it back to the store and my essay tried to untwist the chain himself and he couldn't get it straight so he talked to his manager and he got permission for me to get a replacement for the same price great so now hopefully you're seeing me unboxing my second Chanel jumbo so there was very limited stock because of course all of Europe was also in a shutdown so there wasn't much stock coming to the United States so there wasn't much to pick from and some of these bags were in terrible condition but he found me one I checked the strap this one was an extremely shiny caviar which was the exact opposite of the other one but I paid really close attention to the strap the strap was perfect I got it home a couple of days later I unboxed it and noticed that there was a big scratch under the double flap I'm not sure how I didn't notice this in store I think that with the lighting and with this particular bag being so shiny, I really didn't notice. Also, I was so focused on the strap that I completely missed this scratch. So again, I took it back to the store. Now guys, this was my first Chanel bag in six years. So this was a pretty big deal for me. I really don't like doing exchanges or returns, especially in luxury boutiques. So. I was really so annoyed that I had to take this bag back, but I did. My essay got manager's permission again for me to exchange. 
but at this point I could tell that he was really annoyed. He found some bags for me to look at, but everything had flaws. And the only thing that I can think of in retrospect is that these were the bags that were sitting there during lockdown that no one wanted and had been rejected by everyone. So then it was getting close to closing time. So I said to him, I can't accept any of these bags. They all have flaws. Why don't I just come back on another day, maybe when you get in another shipment? And so he said, we're, we haven't really been getting shipments of classics if you come back on another day you'll have to pay the price post increase let me do one more check he called he found a bag that had been on hold for someone else but they didn't show up and so he was able to release it to me the manager comes over he says the store is closing what are you gonna do i inspect the bag i check the flap no scratches i check the stitches i check the chain everything looks fine the store is now closed I'm really really flustered I say fine pack it up it looks okay I get home the bag still looks okay I take it out to put it in my bag cabinet and I look at the bottom of the bag the only part of the bag that I didn't look at because again I was focused on the things that had gone wrong with the previous bags the strap the inner flap scratches I didn't pay attention to the bottom of the bag and there was a big dent at the bottom I don't think that I even even have footage of that dent because at this point I was so annoyed with Chanel. I was annoyed with myself for accepting this exchange with very little time. And at this point, I said, maybe the universe is just telling me I do not need this jumbo classic in my life. So I had my maxi all packed up to ship but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna pay the money, get my maxi repaired. I canceled the sale of my maxi, I take it back out of the box, and lo and behold, the dent in my maxi had all but disappeared because I had it laying on its back for all of those months, and I realized that the dent wasn't because I had damaged it somehow, it's just because the weight of the leather had been weighing it down the way that I had it stored. So when I saw that the issue with the maxi had all but corrected itself, I was so happy, but it was also confirmation that I did not need or want this jumbo that I first bought in May, and this was now July, and I still could not get a perfect bag. So I prepared to bring it back to the store, and I found my receipt, and I looked at it, and it said final sale on the receipt. I could not believe that this was stamped final sale and no one told me that it would be a final sale. All my essay told me is that we honored the old price and if anything goes wrong with this one you'll have to pay the new price and I said that's fine. Since it was closing time and they were just trying to get me out of there they handed me the bag with the receipt inside. It was an even exchange so I didn't have to look to make sure I was charged the right amount. It didn't occur to me to even look at the receipt until I was taking the bag back. So I texted my essay, my receipt says final sale and you never told me this was a final sale and he completely ghosted me. This was my essay for many many years and he was just not responding to me. So I went into store and I spoke to my essay who said he will call the manager. I spoke to the manager who basically said to me your receipt says final sale and you must have known it was a final sale. And so I said is this a policy that I don't know about? What is this about and why wasn't I told? And essentially he accused me of knowing that it was a final sale and now lying to be able to return the bag. So he wouldn't listen. He walked away from me, took my bag, packed it back up really pretty, and brought it back for me to leave the store. I wrote an extremely detailed letter of complaint to Chanel Corporate asking them to review their sales policy because it is absolutely not legal to not inform a customer when an item is a final sale. I informed them about the legalities in question in this case and asked to be contacted in order to remediate the situation. Even asking them to review the footage which shows that I was just given the bag at closing with the receipt inside. It took a while but Chanel Corporate contacted me and informed me that my bag should not have been a final sale item. 
they apologized and they said that I could indeed bring it back, which is what I did, and I've never stepped into that store again. That was basically my nightmare situation. I still had this rewards voucher to spend, which I did spend on another bag. It's not a jumbo, but it's something that I have had my eye on for years. That was not without drama as well, but I will do that in a separate video since this video has been pretty long. So let me know what you think about this situation, guys. I haven't bought a Chanel bag in many years, and I had heard what everyone had said about Chanel quality. I'm a little embarrassed to say I thought people were just finding minor faults in bags. I'll be honest, I really didn't think the quality situation was as bad as it was and not only has the quality gone downhill but the customer service was atrocious. The first bag that was sent to me over lockdown I had no say in which bag they sent to me however I do take responsibility because I should have inspected the latter two bags more carefully. I guess I didn't think at a $7,000 price point I would be dealing with warped straps and scratches and dents, so perhaps that was just naive on my part. Nevertheless, I should have been informed at a minimum verbally, but also in writing that this item was final sale. But according to Chanel Corporate, there was no reason for this item to be a final sale purchase. Let me know if any of you guys have had similar experiences, so I'm really curious about some feedback. Hopefully I'm not coming across as derogatory, I just wanted to let you know what happened since I've gotten comments why I've had a change of heart about Chanel. Stay tuned for the unboxing of the bag that I did end up buying. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.